Today I bring you Pillsbury Cinnamon Rolls in the Caloric Max. Hey there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the food experience. Today's experience, I'm going to make some Pillsbury Cinnamon Rolls in the Caloric Max Air Fryer Oven. I have the grill version, but any countertop oven or even your regular oven will work fine for these Pillsbury Cinnamon Rolls. I am doing this video because one of my subscribers, a gal named Barb, said she had a tough time with cinnamon rolls in a can, so I figured, you know what, I haven't tried it yet, might as well put it to the test. That being said, let's get down to it. First thing is to preheat your oven, starting up the max, oven mode, in bake, increasing the time a lot higher than it needs to be to allow for preparation, and setting the temp at 400, and let her rip. Next, you want to grease up a pan or a cookie sheet. I'm using the cookie sheet that came with the max, using Crisco as the grease. Pillsbury Cinnamon Rolls, made with real cinnamon. Got the directions right there, nutrition facts. And you want to start peeling from here. Hey, this one opened on its own. Sometimes you gotta press a spoon against it. The package comes with some icing that you wanna save for after they're done baking. Make sure that the cinnamon side is facing up. And you could crowd these together in a round pan. It'll take a little bit longer to cook, but you could certainly do it that way. You're supposed to put these about two inches apart. Bake light is solid, maxes up to temperature. Inserting the tray into the bake two position, closing it up, and I'll set the time for 10 minutes. Package says eight to 10 minutes when doing it this way. Five minutes is up, time to rotate the tray. Back into bake two. Close her up. There are two minutes remaining. When it hits one minute, I'm removing them. I have a feeling they're done. Time to remove. That's what I'm looking at. Hopefully they didn't stick. Oh no, they're not. Not stuck at all. Time to spread some icing on them. Looks like they came out pretty good. Let's go back up top and I'll sample one of them with you guys. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. There's the plate of cinnamon rolls I just made. Mmm, they look so good. Gonna have to try one of them. Yum. These kind of things are always the best while they're still warm out of the oven. They got a nice balance of cinnamon the frosting, and of course the dough. I've never had these before, but you know what? They're good, they're really good. Um, I like to bake things from scratch normally. However, in a pinch, these definitely will get the job done and will satisfy. And um, if anyone else is experiencing any difficulties making these, just follow exactly what I did. You should not have a problem. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got something from it. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, drop me a line down below. I love hearing from you guys and interacting with you. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the way out. I got all kinds of good things coming up. With that said, I'm going to send you out. Wishing you all a very stellar day. Be excellent. And remember me, I'm KJ Andio, your food experience host with the most. Y'all take care. And I'll see you next time.